Ricky at Fool's Pen and Teller earns a spot performing in their Las Vegas show. Now let's get this show started and meet our first potential fooler. Hey, I'm Mike Bliss from Branson, Missouri, and I'm a comedy magician. I'm billed a lot of times as master of variety. I love a lot of magic, comedy, juggling, unicycling, and just having a lot of fun with people in the audience. Growing up, grade school up through junior high, I love playing baseball and football. I got really good at eye-hand coordination, and of course that helped with my magic too. And I'm gonna do a routine using audience members to help me out, based off Harry Houdini, but a little twist that they haven't seen before. To randomly selected members of our audience, I'm absolutely overjoyed to introduce Mike Bliss. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Good evening. It is great to be here. Gentlemen, thank you for having me here. We're going to have some fun. By the way, I'm Mike. What's your name? Savannah. Savannah, nice to meet nice you. To thank meet you. you too. And Vanessa. Vanessa. Yes. Savannah and Vanessa, good to have you. What we're going to do is recreate an effect Harry Houdini made famous in 1901. Do you know what he was famous for? Escaping. Escaping. Very good. That's right. Like being tied up in the water tank, that ringing a bell? Yeah. Awesome. Because we have a water tank right over here. Who's wearing the bikini? Uh, no, what? Are you? <laughs> Relax. Ladies, what happens in Vegas ends up on Snapchat. <laughs> okay. Now, Houdini, he started with ropes. He worked his way into chains and handcuffs. I have some ropes. I'd like for you to examine the ropes. Savannah, right? Yes. Examine them. Make sure they are solid. Nothing funny. Nothing. Vanessa, I have a cloth. Examine that. Good enough? Okay. Now, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Take the cloth. Hold on to it. Make sure there's no tears, cuts, trap doors, secret compartments all the way through. Just check it out. Nothing I could use to cut the ropes. Does it look good? Yes. Okay. Awesome. That goes in the back of the chair, just like so. Now, watch. How do the ropes look? They look good. Two solid ropes? Yes. Awesome. I'm gonna have Savannah and Vanessa tie my legs and my wrists together really, really tight right here in the chair. Okay. Okay, okay well, slow oh. down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you done this before? A couple times. Okay, because you were just <laughs> moving in like you knew what you were doing. Okay. Wait. If you have any questions, follow her lead. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you're. You're gonna tie my legs and wrists together. We'll see how long it takes to escape. Harry Houdini did it, 26 seconds. I wanna try and at least match it, if not beat it. However, I'm going to use some sleight of hand. That's where the cloth comes into play. You two are gonna cover my hands with the cloth just for a few seconds. Let's practice that real fast. And since she scares me, you're gonna start. Okay, pull tight, really tight. My wrists go in the middle, tie a knot. Loop the ropes through each other. Yeah, go ahead and use the big end there. No, there you go, pull as tight as you can. Hold that in the middle, please. Hold it in the middle. Finish off the knot. Were you ladies ever in the Girl Scouts? Uh, no. no. No? The Boy Scouts? No. no. Uh, oh! <laughs> sorry, push me back. I'm sorry. My, my, my cheek fell off. Okay. That's pretty tight. You tied a hog or something. Okay, make another knot on top real fast. Not that we need it. I don't want you to can slide. Make it really, really fast. Now remember, Harry Houdini did it in 26 seconds. We'll see. Awesome. Ladies, do we practice? Grab the cloth, please. Right. Yep. Grab the cloth. Cover the hands straight across. One hand, yep, yep. Just one hand, just one hand at a time, okay? All right, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I want you. Okay. Remove the cloth. That was it. That was good. That was good. Okay. Now, oh, sorry. I'm still tied. I'm sorry. Let me explain it. I'm going to get free of the ropes, and I will beat 26 seconds. Do you think I can do it? You can do it. All right. Okay. But nothing funny yet. I'm still tied up? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Did you see anything? No. Nope. Awesome. Oh, there are folks on the side. Scoot back just a little bit. Scoot back just a way. They want to see. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. I want you to experience just like them. Remove the cloth. That was good. Okay. Um, no, no, I'm still tied up. I'm sorry. Let me explain. I'm actually going to stand up, and when I do, the ropes are going to be gone. They'll be on the floor, off of my legs. You're not impressed yet, are you? I I'm getting there. You're getting there, but you haven't seen anything funny, right? No. Did you see anything? No. Nothing? Did you see anything? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, did you see something? You look confused. No, it's just your hand came out. My hand came out? My, what is she talking about? No, you have no idea. Let's try it one more time. Cover the hands up. Ooh, I'll change it up this time, folks. On three, let's do this. Do not whip it away. Just drop it to the ground. Oh, okay. okay, don't whip it away. Just drop it to the ground. On three. Yeah, quiet. On three, don't wait for four, five, or six. And that way we'll see if I get out. Okay. Okay. You think I can do it? I think so. Maybe? Yeah. But you're not sure? Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> One, two, and three! Oh. We did it! Give it up for the ladies! Thank you, Darwin. I appreciate it. Thank you for helping me out. Mike Bliss! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank you. You've got so much energy, and it's just, it, it's so infectious. I well, love it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. i got to keep up with five kids. Oh. I've got five kids running around. Wow. So, yes. What ages? <laughs> From, we have um, 17, 16, 13, 11, and 9. Wow. Three boys, two girls, and a lot of fun. Wow. <laughs> and are they aspiring to be in show business? Actually, they've all been in the show with me. My two oldest boys performed with me for about nine years, actually, traveling part-time on the road and in Branson. Um, they started in grade school. We actually homeschooled them. I didn't want them smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard that Bob Barker played a role in your childhood. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> uh, that's true. We love, we, we, love, we love game shows and playing games. And uh, my mom, no lie, 42 years ago, won a car from Bob on the Price <gasps> is Right. <gasps> my parents celebrated. Nine months later, I was born. Ooh. <laughs> and twins. It was a big celebration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's check in with our twins over here. OK, yes. Boys. You know, this is a wonderful thing for our culture. This act really does show how far America and the world have come. This act done 150 years ago would have been done by a spiritualist or a medium and would have been done seriously. And it would have been done to prove that the spirits were visiting. And it would not have been any mention of escape. So when we yes. see an act like this that doesn't try to take something that is a skill, something that deals with, with timing and a lot of practice and a lot of escape, and does not try to pass that off as something supernatural and something beyond and used to cheat people, but done honestly and directly and emotionally in order to entertain them, not only says good stuff for you, Mike, it says good stuff for the whole world. But we are familiar with spirit ties because, as you know, with our skepticism, we've looked into every possible way to tie people up with ropes. For skepticism. For yes, skepticism. Of course. Of for course. skepticism. I, I That's why. For moral <laughs> okay. reasons. That's so you uh, figure they know what you're doing. Yes, how. yes. Very good, okay. exactly. Obviously, I appreciate it. Thank you for the comments. And, and thanks for having and me. And thanks for fighting Aww. the good fight, man. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for right. entertaining us. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. If you heard Penn and Teller weren't performing tonight, that's fake news. They are performing. Later tonight, stick around.